Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper. If you haven't been here before, this is a channel for those who resell or those who might be thinking about reselling to learn more items to source and sell. So I normally show the stuff myself, but I am working a 12 hour shift today and I did work 12 hours yesterday. So I'm just going to pop this stuff up on the screen and show you guys. And then tomorrow we will be back to our regular videos with me in it. Um, we did have $700 in sales that are going out today. And then yesterday, almost $900 in sales. So quite a bit um, that went out. So I will show you guys that. I didn't want to skip over the two days. Sometimes I do if it's only a few items and I'm unable to make a video. But since it was so much money, I wanted to show you guys. So it'll be screen shares. I do appreciate you guys watching. And yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so I'm going to show you first what's waiting to go out today, and then I will show you what sold yesterday. So, first up is Peace Sign Copper Healing Bracelet. This is from my copper lot. I paid 50 cents for this in a big lot off of Shop Goodwill, and... It sold for $10.54 plus shipping. This did have a mark there, you see. It was marked Mexico. And, yeah, so uh, about $10 in profit on that one. And up next, we have this 40 piece of Hall Crocus China. This I had listed all individually and this buyer did contact me. They were interested in 10 different lots. The price was $530 plus shipping and I offered them $450 with free shipping and they actually countered back at more than what I offered. So it's some plates, a serving bowl, it was actually, sorry, it was two sets of small plates and then there are some smaller plates. And this is a mixing bowl. And this was all Hall's China Crocus pattern, which is a great pattern if you guys haven't seen it to look out for. Kind of see if we can zoom in here. So that's the pattern there. And some of these were even shipped, and the buyer did see that. So that one sold for $475. I think it's going to cost me about $80 to ship it out. And I only paid $27 for all these pieces. So this is going to be about $350 in profit after all of the fees. And then next we have another of the, uh, this is a Russell Wright chartreuse green. And this is like a mid-century modern look, which sells very well. Um, this one sold for $9 plus shipping. And I have about a dollar in, so this will be about $7 profit. And the buyer did just buy one plate, so a lot of times your china will be in lot. But not always. A lot of people need just one replacement plate. So this one you can see has the Russell Wright engraved. So this one is typically worth a little bit more than the stamped on. And then up next is this Arctic Air Cooler. This one I got in a trade with my friend Pepper. And this one... So it, it cost us kind of hard on that, maybe a couple dollars. This one sold for $16.67 plus shipping. And 
I actually, and you'll see here coming up, sold a few of these yesterday. They've been listed for months, none sold, and then all of a sudden I sold um, five of them in two days. And then we have this vintage bicycle patch. This is um, one of the ones from a lot from Shop Goodwill of Vintage Patches. Sold for $7 free shipping. So only a couple of dollars profit on this one. But this was one of the lesser valued ones in that lot. Alright, so coming up next... This is a vintage, it's a bath oil, and this one I have a couple dollars in, and you can see it was with the box still. The box is kind of damaged, as you see there, and this one sold for $18 plus shipping, so this is about a $15 profit. And then we have... Uh, another one of the life proof cases. These are the ones I told you guys I am losing money. I paid $12. Sold for $11.40 plus shipping. You can see there it does have $89.99 price tag, but that does not always matter. So be sure to research everything that you are buying when you do so. And then this here is a vintage... I put ice bucket or trash can. It was a little plastic square thing. I did take it off for $5. I'm in profit on this lot already. So it's not much profit. It did have a crack there as you see. But um, when I get sports lots, I try to list whatever I can that might be a little bit of value. So $5 plus shipping on that one. Buyer is... $12.50 all in. And then the last item that is paid for going to be shipped out today is this Maurice's 3X tank top. I got this for free from my friend who said she'd had these clothes forever. They weren't selling for her. This one sold for $15.33 plus shipping. The larger sizes seem to do well. This one was a 3X with, with some sequins there. And this one will be going out today. That is the end of what is going out today. And now I will show you guys what sold for yesterday. Um, my husband did ship all of these out. So let's see if we can go through these those we just did so Vera Bradley this is from my palettes this one I have about a dollar in and it's a pretty small little hipster one and this one sold for $12 plus shipping I have had it a few months so I don't mind letting it go for that it's still about a nine dollar profit and then you see the CVS nasal mist <laughs> CVS nasal mist I did sell some more of my paintbrushes here, only less than a dollar in. They sold for $22.50 plus shipping. Some of these were used. The Grumbacher is the brand that sells very well for me. I sold some of these brushes for $70 a piece. So if you're at estate sales and garage sales, watch out for old brushes. So this buyer was a little over $25 all in on those. And then this, this was my big sale of yesterday. This is a 38 inch Fozzy Bear. I did want to charge shipping, but eBay changed it to free. I, though I only paid $17 for this. So I still was making a very good profit. It did cost about $50 to ship out. I only have $17 into it. So even with $50 shipping, it is well over a $100 profit. And I still have a Kermit and Miss Piggy left to sell of that. 
And then there are the Arctic Airs I showed you guys earlier. We sold four to the same buyer yesterday. There is a vintage Avon. These are um, tapered candles with Easter coming up. They are Easter candles. You can see there's a little bit of discoloration, but they were new in the box. Uh, the box was damaged, but they sold for $12 plus shipping. And I have about 50 cents to a dollar into these so about a ten dollar profit there and then my husband did sell these were just laying around the house he put two lots up on auction of some fishing stuff it was some jigs and some you know um fake bait there these he got in, um, we got like a monthly subscription. He wasn't using them, so he listed them up on auction. These went to $10.50 plus shipping. And then he also had another lot here. And then the second lot went to $20.50 plus shipping. So if you have stuff laying around that you aren't using right now, and you're unable to source, now would be a good time to list that and make a little bit of extra money. And then there was some more nasal mist, and I think that was it. I showed you guys the rest of this stuff previously. So you can see our numbers are doing pretty good. We are over 23000 now for our 90-day total. And then I'm going to send these offers out so there might be some more sales today. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed seeing what sold. I just wanted to remind you, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Let your friends know and send me a comment or put a comment down in the bottom because that does help my videos get more views. And I will be live on a lot of Josh tonight. So if you can make it at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, please come over and see me on Josh's. Oh, it's early. Um, on Josh's channel and yeah I look forward to seeing you guys in the chat tonight and I appreciate you watching thanks